Today, guys, we're going to make a dirt hole set for coyotes. All right, guys, Ethan Phipps here from LPC Outdoors. Today, I'm out here doing a little bit of predator control. Um, we're going to set a double dirt hole set right here. Um, we're going to use some venison scraps we have for the bait, and we'll show you some of the lures we use. Um, predator control is a very crucial aspect of wildlife management. Um, they kill fawns, birds, quail, anything they can get their hands on, guys. So we're gonna put this dirt hole set in and hopefully we'll have a dog here in the bear tent. First, we're gonna dig our beds for our traps. Don't want to be too deep, just about the size of the trap. Deep enough where the trap is buried completely, covered good. And we're going to use peat moss to go underneath the pan and over top of the trap. Um, it'll keep it, if it rains or freezes, it, the peat moss won't freeze. And it'll keep from having to use a pan cover on the traps. You'll still be able to, the trap will still be able to go off with the peat moss underneath the pan. So get this first trap in here. Let's see if the bed's the right size. Maybe a little bit deeper right there goes. Not too much enough for the levers to go in. Right there. Pound that in there, make it real solid. You want it to be a real solid bed. Don't want it to move at all. If it moves at all. The coyotes will not commit to your bait. So you really want to get it set real well. So what I like to do is get this extra dirt we have here and really get in around it. And bury it. We gotta bury this chain so we'll go ahead and dig a channel right here. Bury the chain before we bed this trap here guys. Get that right there and then we trap in here. We'll get this trap bedded and then we'll start on the other trap. Get it down in there. Alright, so now we need the peat moss guys. Take a peat moss and make sure you get it all down underneath the pan down in there. You want it underneath the pan. Every crevice Everywhere, so your trap don't freeze. Down in there. You want your trap, your trap pan, to be the lowest point. trap. You want it to be more like, kind of like a bowl. You want it to be down there, out of the way, so when he comes up here and sticks his nose in the hole, he's going to step right there. It's about, you want it to be about six inches. We're going to put a hole about right there. And we'll have another trap right here in case he comes up from the left. And we might put a stick or something right here to keep him from coming up on that side. And have force him to come through here and right here and step where the trap is at. been a real challenge trying to get these traps working good. It's been real wet here lately. We're having a time trying to get these traps to function properly. But the peat moss really helps. It really does. It, the peat moss is the key to trapping when it's wet. Get that roots out of the way, guys. single set here. There's a root right here. <clears throat> Alright. You 
take the can you take that other trap off? Uh, yeah, it's just a air I don't know. Maybe. No, the attached rested on there. We'll make it work right here. We'll send it out a little bit farther this way. That's all we we'll have to do. Be fine. bit offset but that ain't a problem that won't make no difference right there at all about three inches back this is just here just in case the coyote tries to come in from this side even if he steps over top of it he's really likely to get in this trap right here and vice versa we want to put the odds as much in our favor as possible because these critters they are they're very intelligent animals underneath my trap like a little bowl down in there for it to sit down into so we'll drive my stake my hammer here Underneath the trap and the springs. Down in there. Take the hammer and just pick it right down in there. Ain't gonna hurt anything. I'm gonna be buried anyway. No problem at all. Make sure that chain right there is buried. Coming from the other trap. Get buried real nicely. moving that's what we like we're gonna put some peat moss make sure it gets down in there real good guys underneath the pan real good That's really bad, real nice way, guys. Real well done. That 
I blend everything in as much as possible. Get these leaves back over here. All right, guys. Well, got a bigger dirt hole right here. Find the shovel. All right. So about right here in the middle, about six inches from where we got our traps bedded, we want to dig a hole. Hence why they call it a dirt hole set. You want it. This is to put your bait in. You want to get it as deep as you can, really. It's much easier if you have a drill with long auger bit. I don't have mine with me today, I just have my trowel here. That's, pretty, that's good enough. Make it look like something's been digging around here, trying to hide something. Right there, he has to come up and check out, stick his nose in there, see what he's got. Maybe gloves. Now that I'm baiting the trap, I'm going to wear a different set of gloves because you don't want to have your scent making gloves with um, a bait and lure smell on them. Um, then the coke will try to dig your traps up. We don't want that happening. So we change gloves here. We try to keep scent free as possible. Um, we got some traps bedded real good. Now we can bait our trap. So we got us some deer scraps here. Off a deer killed our day. Just a couple little pieces. Nothing major. Just enough for a smell. Alright. See what kind of lures we're going to use here. Alright guys. We got some Paul Baker's Coyote Special 200. Put a little bit of that up here. It's quite a, it's kind of like a skunky smell to it, and they really like that. Just a little bit right above that hole right there on that stick. And we're going to use some Coyote. And Wolf Plan Lure number 100 by Hallbackers. Um, I've never used this. We're going to test this out and see how it works. Um, the Coyote Special number 200 lure is a very good lure. It works real well. It don't take much of this gland lure. Just a little bit on a stick above the hole. Drives them wild, guys. All right. Change my gloves again finish up this set finish with the leaves and blend it in real well like nothing has ever happened here now we're putting our stick up behind my traps here so one don't come over across the top of this mound of dirt my back in here There. That one right there. Go to Put some leaves in here. Start backing up, getting all my stuff cleaned up here. Start. Stuff right here on this. Make sure everything's good and tight. Tight down real well. You don't want anything really looking too suspicious here, guys. We just want to look like something has been here. guys check us out on instagram give us a follow and stay updated on what's going on here at lpc outdoors